Let's check for Windows updates manually in Windows 11. So we're going to right click on the start button and we're going to go to settings. bottom on the left we go to Windows Update and in this case it's already checking for updates because the computers just started but if your computer wasn't already checking for updates you would click on the check for updates button here and it would begin this process now it shows the updates that it's found and it, on the right hand side it gives you a progress right so typically what happens is it will try and download as many updates as it can at once and generally it will just install one at a time however so we'll let this run for a bit well, it's downloaded these three here in and they're pending install. I think they're waiting for this cumulative update for Windows to finish downloading and perhaps finish installing. Well, that's happening. Let's check out some of the options. So we're going to click on advanced options for Windows update. And it's always a good idea, I think, if you have Microsoft Office and other Microsoft products to make sure that receiving updates for other Microsoft products is on. And then here where it says, get me up to date, restart as soon as possible, even during active hours. I do recommend keeping that off uh, for a couple of reasons. One is, of course, that you might be in the middle of something important. You just stepped away from your computer for a minute or two and it figures things are idle and it may restart your computer while you have unsaved documents running so I wouldn't I wouldn't do that another thing I've noticed is that when uh, Windows updates is running and there's several updates one update will say that it wants to restart well another update is still installing and the machine may try to update in the middle of an install because you know the earlier update wants to force an update so I would keep that off at all times downloading updates over metered connections if you have to pay per gigabyte uh, for your internet data as it comes in um, you may want to keep that off uh, or turn it on if it's the only way that you can get updates right if your connection has been detected as a metered connection uh, you may not get updates at all unless you turn that on right most people uh, can just leave that off. Always good to get a notification, right? So, so far, these are pretty good in terms of their defaults. Active hours, right? So currently, uh, active hours means the times that it figures that you're working. And right now, it's set from 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. But you can change that, right? Right now it's automatically detecting this, but you can click on manually and then choose times here. So if you wanted to do the whole nine and then you gotta click the checkbox down here to check mark, I guess you would call it. And then if you wanted to go a little deeper to the night, and there we go. Now you may also find here some optional updates. Right now there's zero available, but if there are driver updates, for example, Microsoft won't put those in automatically at all times. So you may want to click on the list there and see what, if anything, is available, right? Now delivery optimization. You can allow downloads from devices on your local network. Right, you have to turn this on first, allow downloads from other PCs. Basically what that means is if you have several computers in the house and one of them's already downloaded large updates, if you turn this on and allow to download from other devices on your local network, it will search your local network for copies of updates before it searches the Microsoft servers. And that way they only have to be downloaded from the internet once. 
that's a great idea if you have a metered connection, right? Otherwise, um, you know, you may want to turn that off just to reduce, uh, you know, network bandwidth and such between your computers. They're a personal choice, right? And then we have bandwidth throttles here, so you can limit how much bandwidth is used. So if you have only a certain amount of bandwidth and you want to max, uh, max out how much Microsoft can use for updates so that it doesn't choke your gaming experience, etc., uh, you can play with that here in this area, right? And um, here you can check out how much and where your updates have come from. Well, let's go back here and check on our main page. And that's still downloading. Here are that cumulative update for Windows 11. It's finally actually installing. I just want to mention something, which is when you jump in here manually, check for updates. If you find some and they've run, and then your computer wants to restart, you restart your computer. If you go back in to check for updates and it says, great, you're fully updated, you can't necessarily trust that. I have found in many cases, if you then proceed to click on check for updates, despite that it tells you you're fully updated, it will find further updates. So there's often updates on updates, right? So I think what it does is it figures, oh, I just ran all the updates that I initially found. I must be updated. But uh, there's so often updates on your updates that I recommend going in and clicking on the button to check for updates so that if then it tells you after the, you know, a fresh check that you, there's no more updates, then you can trust it, right? So um, sometimes you actually have to go in three or four times to get all the available and applicable updates. Uh, and I do recommend doing that periodically, despite uh, the fact that most people think that having the automatic updates on automatically uh, downloads all updates. That's not true. There are many updates that uh, you have to push through manually. Some of them will eventually go through on their own, it, you know, if you just ignore them for long enough. Um, but if you like to keep updated, you can push things through uh, much more quickly. And the driver updates, as I mentioned earlier, uh, may never go through unless you manually select them. Also down here, we have the pause updates area. If you click on pause for one week, it will pause updates for seven days. Uh, and you can keep hitting that button. I think it'll go up to five weeks, somewhere around there, uh, that you can set it to no, not update, uh, which can be handy if you're in the middle of something important and you just don't want any kind of disruption. You know, updates in general are good for you. Of course, you know, they're trying to patch uh, security holes and fix bugs and offer new features. But, you know, all too often, you know, an update will come in and it'll just disrupt everything. Your computer may not start properly. Uh, things may slow down considerably. Uh, things can become unstable. You know, updates aren't perfect. And um, you may just not want to deal with that for a set period of time. So there's only a, there is a maximum that you can set it to pause. But uh, sometimes it's very useful and I've done it several times uh, just for some peace of mind. So now our cumulative update wants to restart. These ones aren't even installing yet. So I assume they want to do so after the restart. So let's go ahead and we can either restart with this button here or click this one here. We'll go ahead and click that and get things moving along. If you see a screen like this, you can go ahead and click restart anyway, as long as nothing in there is something you recognize with an unsaved file or something. Just click on that restart anyway and get things moving along.
So once your system has restarted, you can go ahead and right click on the start button again, go back into settings, Windows update, bottom on the left. And again, it's checking for updates here. So whatever it tells us after checking, we can pretty much trust. And there's those three. So here we can say install now to get those three pushed in. So once again, it wants a restart. So we'll go ahead and get that going. And back we go, right click, settings, Windows update. Windows 11 seems so far to check for updates every time you jump in there, but let's give it one more press just to make sure. In Windows 10, you had to hit the check for updates button every time. And we're up to date. Thanks for watching.